everyone welcome back to another predestined predestined kingdom ministries international videos i am kenethia elias welcome back in this video we will be discussing why we have to sow into the ministry as believers so we do say in the bible is written we have to give our 10 percent to the lord but we always have a saying as believers as I say Christians, we say Christians, but it sounds better to say a believer, right? We always say we got to sow our way out. We got to sow our way out. We got to sow our way out. You know, if you have it, if the Lord has provided it for you and he will hit you and let you know when you're supposed to give. Like it's, it's undeniably the Lord telling you to give. So we always say you got to sow your way out. So I, I, we're going to be discussing that. In this book of Acts, dear Heavenly Father, ah, dear Heavenly Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed it be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give me this day my daily bread. Forgive me of my debts as I forgive my debtors. And lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the almighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. In the book of Acts 28, verse 10, um, it's, it started with the Apostle Paul, okay, and his ministry that he had started. But this is really talking about the ministry on Malta, okay? So in Acts 28, verse 10, they also honored us in many ways, and when we departed, they provided such things as were necessary. So when I was doing research, I saw that um, there was this thing. We all know it in the Bible. Um, Apostle Paul was telling the Gentiles they didn't have to get circumcised. The Jews had a problem with that because that's the foundation that they had. They, they wasn't receiving Jesus or the new laws. And so the Apostle, Paul's was, the Apostle Paul was explaining to everyone that that is why the Lord God Jesus Christ died on the cross. And so we could all become one. Hallelujah. And so he was saying we didn't he was saying the Gentiles didn't have to get circumcised, but they do have to provide. They have to give unto the ministry. It's a way of sowing into a man, Lord. It's a way of sowing. So he had them to give things that were necessary. It may have been money. Majority of it was probably money for funding the ministry. So it just says they provided such things as were necessary. You need money for ministry too. So it could have been food, clothes, money, you know, whatever was necessary during that time with the Apostle Paul. But that's why we give and we, and that's exactly, that's why we as Gentiles, we have to give. We sow our way out. I pray that this makes sense through the Holy Spirit. You receive the Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Don't forget to give monetarily, okay? You you give, you provide to the ministry the things that are necessary, okay? A lot of ministries are equipped, um, maybe not like the smaller ones. Those are the ones you may have to give a little bit more as far as like clothes and Bibles and things of that nature. A lot of the uh, mainstream ministries, they have that. They just ask that you provide monetary gifts for giving. So you got to give. You, you got you to gotta give. I pray you have a blessed day. Shalom.